With TV service from North Central, setting up parental controls allows you to block unwanted programming. Carefree TV is just a few steps away. I'll show you. Before we get started, there are two main settings you need to know. Parental control and channel blocking. Parental control is determined by two main factors, TV ratings and movie ratings. Most TV shows are rated on a scale from TVY to TVMA. Movies are rated on a different scale, like R, G, PG-13, and so on. The other setting is channel blocking. The channel blocking feature will remove unwanted channels from appearing at all in the channel guide. Okay, now that we know the difference between parental control and channel blocking, let's dive into the settings. On your remote control, press the menu button. This will show several different widgets on the bottom of the screen. Using the left or right arrows on your remote, navigate to the settings widget, which shows a gear as the icon. When highlighted, press OK on your remote. You will then be prompted to enter your four digit password. If you do not know your default password, call us at 615-666-2151. After you have entered your password using the keypad on your remote control, click the down arrow. This will highlight the OK button. Then press OK on your remote to select it. The settings menu will then appear on your TV. On the left hand side are two setting options, preferences, which is what we see now, and users. You are currently highlighting preferences button, so click the down arrow to highlight users. Then press OK on your remote to select users. The right side of the menu will change to show the users that are set up on your TV. Our system has the potential to set up multiple user accounts. However, most customers prefer to just use one user. As you see here, ours is named 2151. Click the right arrow on your remote, which will highlight the parental control button that is located near the bottom right hand side of the screen. Then press OK. Now we can see the parental controls that are set up for our TV. Our movie ratings will only show movies PG-13 and below. Our TV ratings will only display shows that are TV-14 and below. And we currently have no content blocks set. This section allows you to select specific content to block, like violence or language. Let's go ahead and change these settings. By default, your settings may be different. Press the up arrow on your remote a few times until the movie rating glows blue. Press OK. Then the movie ratings will show two arrows on both sides of the selected rating. Pressing either left or right on your remote control will now adjust the rating that can be shown on your TV. Mine now says R, which means movies rated R and below will be shown, and any rating above that is blocked. Once you have picked a rating you prefer, click the down arrow to hover over the TV rating. Let's go ahead and change this too. Click the down arrow twice to the checkbox that reads Block Unrated. This setting will block any programming that is not given a rating. Be careful, because programming like live events and sports coverage, such as on ESPN, are generally unrated programs, so that programming would be blocked if this was selected. Click the left arrow on your remote control, and V Violence checkbox should be highlighted. These five settings will block any rating that is not already blocked by the TV or movie rating based on its content. Since we allow R-rated movies, we can still block some R-related content such as sexual situations as rated by the program provider. So I'm going to click the left arrow on my remote again, which puts me on the checkbox for the content that I want to block. Then press OK and a checkbox will appear. Clicking down three times will bring us to the submit button at the bottom. None of these settings will go into effect unless we press submit. So click OK and the settings will be updated. A message will pop up stating it's success, so press OK to get that message to go away. Then press exit to go back to your regular TV programming. There's one more thing we need to change to make sure your parental controls are active. Press the menu button and go back to settings, logging in with your four digit password and revealing your preferences menu. There's a checkbox next to parental controls. If there's a check already shown, then you are good to go. 
Otherwise, navigate over to the Parental Controls checkbox and select it. Then you must press Submit at the bottom of the screen to save your settings. You have now successfully set up your parental controls. Sit back and enjoy your TV with customized parental controls from North Central.